Let's have a look at the distinguishing test between aldehydes and ketones. But before we do that, we need to have a look at the structure of aldehydes and ketones. So firstly, an aldehyde, that contains a C double bond O group, or a carbonyl group, on the end of the chain. And because of that, it can be further oxidized to a carboxylic acid. A ketone, on the other hand, contains a carbonyl group, or the C double bond O group, in the middle of a chain. And because of that, it can't be further oxidized. Now, this difference in the ability to oxidize aldehydes and ketones forms a basis for the test between the aldehydes and ketones. We basically use mild oxidizing reagents, add them to our sample, and see if any oxidation happens. If it does happen, then we have an aldehyde. If it doesn't, then we have a ketone. So there are three tests we're going to have a look at. We're going to look at Tollens reagent, failing solution, and acidified potassium dichromate. You may have come across acidified potassium dichromate when you looked at the oxidation of primary, secondary, and tertiary alcohols. So firstly, Tollens reagent. Tollens reagent is made up by mixing silver nitrate with ammonia, and we get a complex forming with two ammonia ligands and a silver one plus ion. And when we react that with an aldehyde, it forms a beautiful silver mirror on the inside of the test tube, and that shows the presence of an aldehyde. With a ketone, that won't happen. Now, the reason it happens is that the silver plus ion is a mild oxidizing reagent. And when it oxidizes the aldehyde, it itself is reduced, which means it gains an electron to become silver as a solid, and that forms on the inside of the test tube. Failing solution contains... Um, copper 2 plus ions and a soluble hydroxide. And when we react it with an aldehyde, it turns from a blue solution to a ready orange precipitate. And the reason for that is very similar to Tollens reagent. The failings is a mild oxidizing reagent, so it itself is reduced. So copper 2 plus ions gain an electron to become copper plus ions, and that red precipitate is due to copper 1 oxide. How about acidified potassium dichromate? You may have come across this when, we, when you looked at the oxidation of primary, secondary, and tertiary alcohols. When it acts as an oxidizing reagent, it turns from orange to green because it's reduced. And the reduction reaction happens to the chromium. In the presence of H plus ions, it's um, reduced to chromium 3 plus ions, and that accounts for that orange to green color change. It's quite a complicated equation, but there it is.